I pretty much remember most of my childhood with a baseball, playing baseball. We spent most of our, our free time at the baseball field. I had always sensed God's presence and uh, didn't really know what that looked like. And uh, as I got into out of high school and, and into the minor leagues, I had a lot of great influence and some, some older guys that I played minor league baseball with. Two that come to mind, uh, husband and wife were married. Uh, my wife and I were engaged. Uh, you know, they just invited me over for dinner, and, and just a good example of what a Christian marriage and a Christian being a Christian was was about. I thought, you know what, I, I think I know what this. You know, I get it. You know, following Jesus is is what I want to do. In the two months that we spent in St. Louis after I got traded over and seeing some of the teammates and some of the guys around the organization and experience the fans and how we were treated, you know, that's where we wanted to end up, but you never know if it's going to work out that way. And, and it was pretty, pretty stinking clear that that's where we were supposed to be. You know, you've got a manager like Mike Matheny, who's a great role model. Uh, he's somebody that I look up to. He's, a, he's got five kids. Uh, they are great kids. And just seeing how that they've raised their kids. And so we, I've got a chance to play for somebody that I consider, you know, a mentor as somebody that I can, I can really look up to. You know, like the last two months of the year when, when Lance, I knew Lance was going to be probably headed somewhere else. I said, Lance, let's just sit down and I want you to just give me some of your knowledge. I mean, the guy knows so much about the Bible. Let's just have some dinner every road trip, every night. Let's just go down and, and talk about the Bible and I want you to walk me through some of the things that you've learned. From the elementary level all the way up, I want you to just, you know, just throw up on me everything you got. And so, uh, you know, guys like experiences like that that I've had in St. Louis and, and even now we've got a bunch of younger guys that are that are new to the faith a little bit, and so you start to see your role sort of move in a different direction. Whether it's just get together and watch the Bible series on DVD and with a bunch of guys and see, just invited by, hey, we're going to watch the second episode or whatever, or, you know, honestly get dive into the Word. And, and it's been cool between, you know, I feel like both of us have kind of taken on a, a bit of a spiritual leadership of, of some of the, the team. And we don't get to go to church that often, except in the off season. And even then, you know, we're doing things here and there and you leave leaving for Thanksgiving and you're leaving for Christmas. And, and so our church is baseball. And we feel like we've been called to the ministry of baseball. And we feel like that you can make an impact not only to the young believers, but to the, to the non-believers and set an example of, hey, we love you. I don't, I don't care that you're not a believer. Come to my house and eat. That we could be as Christ-like as possible so that they might see Jesus through us. The times when I'm not constantly pursuing our relationship with Jesus are the times when it's baseball it just beats me up. When I'm chasing after him, it's not, you know, I can I have peace and I have that peace about me. I'm just praying that God, just give me peace, whether it's good or bad, I don't know if the results are good or bad. You know, I just want to have that peace that I can get in the box and, and give you the glory.